So how do you as a brand take the amazing content you've already developed for your brand, your product, packaging, take all that and put that on Amazon? How do you optimize those content pieces on Amazon so the customers understand your product, your brand, and wanna buy it? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Brands put a lot of time, effort, energy, and love into their brand messaging and so that customers can understand the features, benefits, value propositions of the product. And it really shows. It shows in the product packaging. It shows when you visit their social media presence. It shows when you go to their website. But then what happens is for brands is they get to Amazon and uh, it's just, let's just put up what we can. It's kind of confusing. And you just find yourself looking at the front and back image of a package, some basic copy, and that's it. And from a customer's point of view, it doesn't have a great feeling, right? It, it doesn't carry across the same amount of the energy and time and effort that brand has put into what their messaging is. So put yourself in the customer's shoes, right? You're, you're maybe bought a product at a local store. Maybe it's a, a grocery item that you wanna buy another one of and maybe it tasted delicious or maybe it's just a, a product you bought, just a one-time use product, but you wanna get a second one for your spouse or a friend or whatever it may be for a gift. So, you know, you've loved the product, you love the brand, you love the packaging and how it conveys the brand and maybe you visited the brand's Instagram page or their website. And then you go to Amazon to rebuy the item and you get there and it's you're kind of taken aback because is frankly the same warm and fuzzy feelings you got as a customer and for that brand didn't come across in the Amazon page. And that may seem silly to say that, but it is true. Even as a customer, you, you may wonder, is this the actual brand selling the item? Because the Amazon is a marketplace, there could be a reseller selling the item. So brands need to understand Amazon and, and the different types of content that can be manipulated, when I say manipulated in a positive way, to convey their brand messaging on Amazon, right? So Amazon by design is a very cookie cutterish website, right? Amazon wants the end user to know where they need to click to find the reviews and where they need to click to hit the buy now button or where they need to click to find the specifications and the, and the product dimensions and weights right and so as a brand you need to understand what can I do in those different sections of the pages to really convey that messaging so in the imagery it could be creating more infographic type images it's about the features and benefits of your product and the copy it could be really telling these feature and benefit statements instead of just specifications and also utilizing specific Amazon content like a plus pages and stores and things like that and this this is all going to relate to getting more brand loyalty for your brand and ultimately more sales. Now, as with anything with Amazon, things are always changing, right? And so Amazon's recently added a new feature to product pages, which allow brands to put some more content on the page, frankly. And these are called brand stories. Now, they're technically a part of A plus pages, and A plus pages are a more feature rich section in the middle of the page where you can put additional imagery and content, replaces a standard paragraph product description. And brand stories really fit right above and fit the same kind of thing as, a, as an A plus page, right? The same kind of modules and same kind of look and feel right above that on the page. And so it's just another chance for you to put more content about your brand specifically there for customers, right? And what that's gonna do, it's gonna really help build that connection between your brand and the end customer. So whether a customer visits your Facebook page, your Instagram page, your website, finds your product in a store, looking at the packaging and reading about it, or finds your product on Amazon, they should understand the same value proposition that your brand provides. They should understand the same features and benefits no matter what channel they're shopping in, right? That should be evident to the client, the customer. And the way you do that is you use Amazon as a tool to inform and teach those customers because Amazon by default has become this, you know, review engine almost for for even product, people buying products in the store. I've done this personally. I'm gonna buy a product in the store that day, but I pull the product up on Amazon to understand the reviews, maybe some of the features and things like that of the product that aren't evident by just looking at the packaging there in the store. So as a brand, you have a great opportunity to treat Amazon as also this information channel for all your channels and ultimately a sales tool as well, but it's gonna allow end customers to take your brand more seriously and also build confidence in your brand. We've seen brands have a three to four times increase in their Amazon conversion rate simply by optimizing their presence on Amazon, optimizing that content on Amazon. You know, customers visit the page, they're gonna bounce and go to another page if they don't understand clearly what the value proposition of your products are, why they should buy it, 
and what it's gonna do for them. So by manipulating that content on the page, by having really clear photography and uh, really well-designed infographics or explainer type imagery, as your alternate images. Having copied it's written in a way so that obviously Amazon's algorithm picks the right keywords, but also someone reading it understands the features and benefits of your product. And having a complete A plus page on the page that again, reiterates a lot of those same points, but maybe has a few additional points of information as well. That's just gonna lead to customers feeling more comfortable with that purchase. They're not gonna hit the back button in the browser and go to the next item on the search page. They're gonna stay there and they're gonna buy your item.